Hi, I'm Nick Bergmeier, Extension Wildlife Specialist with Purdue University. Welcome to another A Moment in the Wild. Today I want to talk to you guys about mole salamanders. Mole salamanders are this really cool group of salamanders found throughout Indiana. Now we have eight species plus a ninth that's uh, really a group of hybrids. Uh, a couple of species you might be familiar with would be the tiger salamander and, and also the spotted salamander. Those are probably the two most commonly seen. There are two most brightly colored mole salamanders, uh, but there are several other species. The mole salamanders get their name because they spend most of their lives underground. Uh, they hide under logs, they hide under leaf litter, they hide bur buried down in burrows. And they do that really most of the year until the uh, spring migrations. And, and these migrations are really somewhat reminiscent of, of little mini versions of those big mammal migrations you see on TV. You can see thousands of these mole salamanders crossing roads or moving through the woods. Uh, basically moving from the areas they've spent most of their time hidden throughout the year to their breeding wetlands. And, and when they get to these breeding wetlands, they, they reproduce and then the adults leave and go hide again. And then eventually those, those eggs hatch that they lay out there uh, into small larvae, basically just like tadpoles. And they spend a little bit of time, a few months, uh, some of them more uh, up to a year, and they eventually those will metamorphose and, and also leave the wetlands and then come back to those same wetlands to, to reproduce in the future. Now these, these salamanders are intimately tied to these wetlands. Uh, I mentioned them previously in, in the ephemeral wetlands video. Uh, these salamanders basically can't survive without these wetlands and that's, that's become a problem throughout much of their reigns where these, these wetlands have disappeared. When the wetlands disappear, the salamanders disappear. So we encourage you if, you, if you have any wetlands on your property, especially these, these fishless wetlands that these salamanders really like, uh, we encourage you to leave those or to conserve them to, to ensure that these salamanders have a, a continued place to, to reproduce. And that's really all I have for you today. If you have any questions about salamanders or, or ephemeral wetlands or any other wildlife related questions, please contact an extension wildlife specialist and we'll do our best to answer. Thanks.